Each weekend, ABC 10's Walt Gray catches up with the Cal Matters journalists about the biggest political stories of the week. Here's Walt with more. Welcome to our weekly discussion of all things current in California politics. I'm Walt Gray. This week, reporter Emily Hoven is with us, a political expert for calmatters.org. Emily, great to see you again, as always, on this Sunday. Um, there was a lot of discussion about gas rebates with different people coming up with different plans. Now there's nothing. Where, where does this all lie right now? The governor actually had a series of different proposals, and two of them would have basically paused certain taxes on gas, mm -hmm. uh, diesel tax, and then just regular tax. And so his administration released some text for those that, that they were hoping would, would be put into bills that the legislature could pass. And in fact, they had to be passed by the end of this week to actually go into effect by July, as was mm -hmm. originally proposed. They're not in a bill, uh, so those are not moving forward. And lawmakers told me, you know, we still think the governor's proposals were not targeted well enough for lower income families. So we're looking to work with him. But then their own proposals have also some of them have been put into print, but they have not yet received a hearing date. So we just don't know the timeline for these these proposals and this relief. Another big talker, and I know that uh, you're on top of this, too, is Elon Musk purchasing Twitter. And Governor Newsom had no comment about that. Of course, Elon Musk did not necessarily leave California under the best of terms. That's true. Yeah, he, you know, he moved the t headquarters of Tesla to Texas. And even though he consider he continues to expand in California, that move to Texas did, you know, kind of probably anger a lot of people. And so there has been some speculation that since Musk did purchase Twitter, you know, would he consider moving the San Francisco headquarters to Texas or to somewhere else? And the Texas governor has actually already asked him on Twitter to move to Texas. Um, and the governor's office told me, you know, he should focus on his own workers and his own anti-LGBTQ and misogynistic policies at work. Um, but, you know, Musk himself has speculated publicly on Twitter. Maybe I will close the headquarters. Maybe I'll turn it into a homeless shelter in San Francisco because a lot of workers have been working from home during the pandemic and the company currently has a permanent work from home policy. So we're going to have to see what happens. But I think it should be a very interesting debate and situation. Um, what's happening with, with legal betting in the state of California? Where is this all moving? Do you see this happening? So that's going to be something that is going to be a big battle before voters this year in November, most likely. Right now, there are four different proposed ballot measures for the November ballot that would, you know, allow online, allow sports betting online or in person, various different permutations by various different groups. And one of the most controversial measures is backed by a lot of online gaming companies like DraftKings. And inside that proposal, actually, um, in order for companies to do sports betting in California, they would have to pay a $100 million licensing fee mm. and already be licensed in 10 other states. And so a lot of critics have said, okay, well, that basically means that only the biggest companies would ever be able to do business in California, even if um, sports betting is legalized. And so there's a lot of pushback from small businesses. Um, and then the Native American tribes and some card rooms also have various different proposals. So that's going to be a very expensive and very high profile ballot this year. Okay, well, we'll see how that, uh, that all works out in the midterms and beyond. Emily, thank you. Great to see you as always. Cal Matters is a nonpartisan news organization explaining California policies and politics. Find their work at calmatters.org. You can also sign up for Emily's newsletter there.